now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. Another road trip for the SEMO football team ahead. As far as the quarterback position goes, Coach Tuke tells me it will be a game time decision whether injured starter Paxton DeLaurent will play Saturday night against New Mexico State. Meanwhile, today at practice, redshirt freshman Carter Hensley taking first team snaps. Hensley came in relief of DeLorean, of course, played really well in that comeback win over Northern Alabama. Now, whoever ends up starting, they'll have an opportunity to beat an FBS opponent for the second time in SEMO football history. And they both got to prepare like they're the guy, and we got to make sure Carter gets the reps that, you know, uh, Paxton can bank a lot of practice reps, you know, from all the ones he's wrapped. But Carter needs to get the lion's share of the reps so that he's ready. Yeah, I just love the, you know, the dr drive. You know, we all, we all want to win, and you know, it's just great having those guys push, push me, and push the rest of the team, and we're just gonna continue to get better. I'm just as confident as last week, man. We're, Carter came out there. He, he may have been a little nervous at the beginning, but he, he stepped up. He sat in the pocket. He stayed there. He pulled it on a great 46-yard run. We're going to do the same this week. SEMO and New Mexico State will kick off at 8 p.m. Friday night in Las Cruces. Well, the Jamborees are over, and it's time for the regular season for teams in Southeast Missouri. Tonight, we continue our Heartland Football Friday previews with a look at the St. Vincent Indians, a team with a lot of experience. Man, they, they've got some players. They should be good. Also, while uh, looking at the Scott City Rams, a new head coach this year, and the Perryville Pirates, another team with a lot of guys who return. So here's what their coaches have to say heading into the season. We're an experienced bunch, but we're just ready to get back on the field. Uh, we had a lot of fun last year, and we want to continue that uh, success. We've made a made, made a lot of progress. We still got a long way to go. Um, I feel like we'll be one of those teams that you know we'll be we'll be a lot better in October than probably we are right now. I mean, we've got a lot of returners, so we've been able to kind of get a little more advanced with our play calling and. Almost everybody's back on defense, so uh, had a pretty good understanding of our system. So we've been really uh, kind of focusing on more of the technique type stuff. The Perryville Pirates will be the first to kick off the season at home Thursday night against Fredericktown. And of course, we'll be back Friday night with a lot of games and good games on Heartland Football Friday at 10.